Hello, thank you for checking out my channel today. Today I want to talk about adding a network card to the book 8088 here. So the card that I'm going to be using, I got this from Sergey oh, a couple years ago now probably. Um, I think he's got them listed on uh, Tyndall, but it's a nice compact 8-bit card. Um, the back has kind of got the list of the jumpers and or the switches and their settings. Um, this is set up using um, a software tool, so I don't use the uh, switches at all or a, a ROM. So pretty much we'll get to it. Um, so I'm just going to plug it into the uh, ISA slot here. Now I had to do some setup on the uh, the uh, card. And I'll go into a little setup menu. And I'll also put at the end of the video a link to my first video on this card to maybe provide more information. But uh, it was conflicting. It was using port 300. And it was conflicting with something that's uh, internal to the book 8088. So we're all connected. Don't need that anymore. Let's get it booted up here. Just the camera. So we got the, um, the screens off a little bit. So let's uh, try to get that fixed. All right, I think the screen's fixed now. I just got to get the focus on there. All right. So let's go to the network directory. So I copied this over. That's why my USB stick was plugged in. I copied this over. Um, pretty much the same as on my, my project on getting this to work. Um, but let's... Let's go over kind of the setup real quick. I'm not going to go into that much detail compared to my other video. We're looking for this R, R set eight one or eight zero one nine. Uh, these are just some of these are other tools for other cards, and some of it's uh, just network tools. Not used to being the the drive being so slow. Uh, compared to the project I work on. I think it's probably the CPU speed plus the compact flash and the way the driver's written. All right, so let's do the ST8019. Okay, and this is going to, I think it's looking for, I haven't been in here in a while. Like I said, I'll put a, the, at the end of the video, I'll put the end screen to go to that video that I made a while ago. So it's looking for the device. Uh, let's view the current configurations. So basically I had to change this to 240 for the uh, IO address. Still using interrupt three. That seems to be okay with this uh, device. So um, so in here, I think the setup is where you can change. Yeah, you can change all this. So you could change it to use jumpers. Um, I kind of like the jumperless, but uh, jumpers may be handy if you were like trying to troubleshoot or something. But uh, diagnosed, I'm not worried about that right now. So we'll just exit this. So I actually was able to set it up on this machine but I didn't, I wasn't able to use it with this BIOS because trying to boot with port 300, it was hanging up. Um, so you might have to set it up at another machine or what I did was I popped out the BIOS and booted my other BIOS. Okay, so I just ran the batch file that initializes the network. Should work, yeah, acknowledge, yep. So it's working. Now, 
there isn't like a really good modern uh, web browser for DOS. I think even some of the current ones out there, they're pretty unusable at this point. But Telnet works. I'm just going to run this to, just to kind of run the test. So toxic BBS. I kind of went through some BBS. Ah, got to go to the network folder. I was trying to find a, a decent BBS to maybe look at, but uh, really the, the whole point of this is to show that it's working. Okay, so maybe I spelled it wrong. Okay, so I kind of had to take a break there on the video to find a different BBS, see if this works. Um, all right, so that connected. So kind of the whole point there is just to get the, the show that the network is connecting to uh, an outside uh IP address, you know, outside even from my local network. So, not much to do in here. Um, I think, I think this, uh, a lot of BBS has kind of used the same basic package. And they're just, uh, anyway, this is more about the networking. So, I'm just going to exit from here. Uh, Control C kind of sometimes exits. So, all right, well, so we're able to exit from there. So that's just kind of the basics of getting a network card on your, or demoing the network card on the uh, book 8088. Um, and then I would definitely uh, check out my other video if you want to see how to set it up for the, uh, for the uh, 8088 in general. So anyway, thanks for checking it out today.